Peace, everybody. This is Thomas Amal with another special edition of Conversation Corner. And today I'm going to do something slightly different. I, I rarely talk about relationships and developing relationships. And I'm talking about on the personal side. When I discuss relationships, I'm usually speaking of in a business manner and uh, friendships and uh, to help each other in other ways. But I've been getting a lot of requests for information and questions from people that I deal with as a life's liaison and pertain pertaining to their relationships now you know I'm, I'm a college dropout and you know in no way am I de uh, degreed as a psychiatrist or anything like that or uh, I don't uh, provide medicine for people um, who may have whatever issues uh, um, that they may have depression or ASAD or whatever it's called you know hypertension and hyperness and all of that but one thing I have done is I've had a number of life experiences and I may not be the best as far as maintaining relationships um, as far as marriage and things like that being that I have gone through divorce but I know some of the things that are t needed and required to keep a, mar a marriage going and you have to know yourself you really have to learn who you are as an individual and in the meantime you have to learn who that other person is and we have to get out of that um, changing as the relationship comes and then we go back to who we were in essence like they said uh, one of the famous comedians said that when you, a man meets a woman he gets her representative until they get married then he finds out who he what he's just gotten himself into and I'm pretty sure women say the same thing but in today's time today's time reality is at stake the love that we should have for one another and, and if it's meant to be to have a relationship if it's meant to be that you get married and make it a long-term relationship and you know I'm not necessarily saying that marriage is the end all of everything I just think it's one of the best concept that's ever been made because you have that immediate partner you have that voice that you can speak with you have that listener that lover that um, person that's always supposed to be on your side that you don't question you can go back and have uh, arguments and the strong discussions and you know there will be changes within you individually as you mature and get older but you'll still stay together well in today's time it's so easy because you've been taught by the world that marriage is only supposed to last a few years a few days it's that individual type mentality what have you done for me lately you know, and the TV shows that people actually pay attention to and they use that as a gauge for their relationships. So who are you? I ask you, who are you? Because I ask myself regularly, who am I? But I'm proud of myself. I know who I am. I'm learning myself every day. I'm growing and I'm developing, I'm maturing. And I know that other people are doing it just as good or faster or better than I am. So for those of you that are out there looking for relationships, like I said, look at yourself clean your own house up first make yourself prepared to be able to receive that one and if that's something that you so desire that person will come but don't be so so quick to want to dismiss someone because you don't think they have everything of what you dreamed that they would be there's an old story that's out there about a lady who complained that she begged and begged and prayed and prayed for a man to come her way and finally she had a discussion with God and said look I've been begging you for the longest for a, a male companion and in the meantime he sat back and he said look I sent you someone to help your car when you had car issues I sent you someone to help you when you had uh, issues in your home I sent someone to help you when you needed some type of uh, uh, transportation or whatever and every time I sent you a different person that was perfect for you from me you turned them away and said that they were just a friend or they weren't who you wanted so being that you didn't know who you were and you didn't have your eyes open and prepared for that you turn people away be it consciously or unconsciously and you don't give that person a chance and you don't give yourself a chance so I ask you be true to yourself learn who you are I'm gonna get out of here with that before I go any further because I know people that are say look out of all people talking but you know what 
with age you can you can talk and and you can make comments and give your opinion on some things so with that click the link below i look forward to you being a part of my team and and going further and being a part of the dream team and understanding what we have going on to better yourself mentally fear uh physically and eventually spiritually if that's something that you need but um what we have thomas amal conversation corner click the link below talk to you peace